So one day you woke up and hopped into Roblox Studio only to realize that there is a brand new default chat. But then straight after you also came to realize that your automated system messages that give tips and hints for your game also don't work anymore. You immediately went onto YouTube and found this video. And I am here on a mission to fix this. If you want to know how to make system messages using the new Roblox chat, then make sure you watch this video all the way to the end to find exactly how to make it. So newbie, how do we fix this? It is pretty simple. First of all, you need to make sure you have Explorer enabled by going to view and then Explorer right over here. Make sure you have it enabled. Then go to starter player right over here. Open it up to see starter character and starter player scripts. And then over here, when you hover over it, you see a plus. Click on the plus, and you will see a list of things you can uh, add and insert. But we just need a local script, just like that. Now, we can just simply give it the name, like, system messages. Doesn't really matter. Uh, just give it a different name so you kind of know which is which, if you have multiple scripts. And now, all we have to do is code it. So let's do that immediately, right now. Enjoy. So now that we have coded it and we have actually done the system itself, uh, I'm here to explain what the code does for the people who want to learn from scripting. If you don't want to learn how to script, just skip to the testing part and then or just test it out yourself. Uh, and now we can explain. We have entered the recap section. So let's I mean, let me briefly explain what the code does. So over here, we have a function generate system message with uh, some data, which is an array. Uh, the array is right over here. This is the array with uh, in, within that the, those square brackets, the table array-ish, whatever. Yes, you, you get the point. Uh, we are going to return some little bit of HTML, I would say. I would say it's HTML. Uh, we, we're getting the font color. We're getting the font size. We're getting the font face. And we are getting uh, the text itself. And then when you combine all of those, you're going to get one message, which, which will be ex um, which will be displayed, sorry, which will be displayed on the chat, the new one. 
Uh, over here we have choices, so these are just the messages that will appear in the chat. If you want something else, just add a comma, and then just type something else. Subscribe, because yes. Poggers. And that is how you add uh, another uh, message. So basically just do that, just do this, blah blah blah, and then comma, blah blah blah, comma, blah blah blah, comma. You get the point, just add a comma, and then you can continue. Over here we have a continuous, never-ending loop which is a while to do loop, we're going to randomize one out of this table over here. We're going to randomize one of them. Then we are going to identify it. So this returns a number because it is we're randomizing uh, one number. So one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. If we get four, then with this, we are going to identify it. So choices number four, and that will be one, two, three, four, which will be subscribed because yes, poggers. We are getting the text chat service because that is the key to get all of these messages in the chat. We have a channel we need to use, which is the RBX system. Um, so what this does is just display it. Or you can use it to send things, whatever. Then we are going to use that channel. So we're going to use that chat channel. And this is pretty forwarded. Display system message. That, that should be explaining enough. So we're getting the channel, we're going to display a system message using the generate system message data. So over here we are setting the data, and this will make it like this. So it, this, this piece of data will turn it into this, and then this will be used to display the system message, which will be the data that the game needs to display that message, if you still follow me. So this will turn into this random font color, font size thingy, that will be sent back over here and then the display message will do the rest so this is basically the system we're going to do this every one second now we are going to test this out so let's do that right now Let let's test this out now we can finally test it out so all we have to do is click play and every second we are going to get a system message in the new roblox chat as you can see we got unread messages so three two one click and as you can see, friendly reminder to join the Discord server, make sure you join the group and like the game. And as you can see, every second we get one of those randomized system messages. So this is how you make system messages in the new Roblox chat. Some people like the new chat, some people don't. But this is how you do it. If you did in fact enjoy this tutorial, make sure to leave a like on this video if you like it. Dislike it if you dislike it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want. To support me and all i can say is that my name is newbie and i say peace out